Ever wonder about copyright issues for online classes? There's some great information in Cohen Ross in Chapter 8. Some notable things include a list of questions you can ask yourself to determine if your use of material falls within fair use criteria, a sample letter requesting permission to use material in classes, and thoughts on how to protect one's own intellectual property. There's also information on how to assure academic integrity among students. If you want to know about open education resources, free web 2.0 tool terms and conditions, and Creative Commons, this chapter has more on those topics too. Speaking of free things and open resources, do you know where you can go for over 36,000 free ebooks waiting to be downloaded to your PC, Kindle, Android, iOS, or other portable devices? How about saving your students money on textbooks by tapping into a site that offers free textbooks suitable for use in many community college courses? If you're thinking no such thing, then maybe Project Gutenberg and the Community College Consortium for Open Educational Resources might be the place for you to explore. Founded in 1996 and located in San Francisco, the Internet Archive is a nonprofit dedicated to building an Internet library. Its purposes include offering permanent access for researchers, historians, scholars, people with disabilities, and the general public to historical collections that exist in digital format explore texts, audio, moving images and software, and reflect on how you can incorporate these digital pieces into your classroom. Sleepless nights? Need to chat online with a librarian at four in the morning? That's possible at the Miracosta College Library. Come and explore this and many other online resources for you and your students, including tons of databases covering every subject. Need a documentary or readying yourself for that jazz festival? Try out Films on Demand database for the Jazz Music Library. 24-7 access, because we're here for you. I am Laura Pachorek. I'm Richard Ma. These stories and Jim Sullivan, tonight on 59 and a Half Minutes. <laughs>